Hello guys! Let's continue stitching this beautiful sampler page and today I'm gonna be stitching with you a bullion leaf. I already tested this <laughs> leaf a little bit on my uh, other sampler uh, when I'm just uh, trying different stitches and this is what I got. I used uh, all six uh, strands and I'm using those embroidery threads, those are DMC 4120. I like that they have different shades of uh, yellow, orange and uh, pink and uh, red and uh, it, it looks like uh, gonna make a nice uh, autumn leaf. And I also have a video tutorial for bullion stitch on my YouTube channel and uh, you can also check it out. So um, I'm sharing a lot of uh, tips and uh, tricks that I learned from this uh, stitch when I was doing it for the first time. So uh, you might want to check it out as well. Instead of uh, regular embroidery needles, um, I'm gonna use a millennial needle. Um, it looks like a sewing needle and it has the same uh, weeds, so it, it doesn't expand uh, much uh, in this place uh, when in the, we have an eye of the needle uh, comparing to the embroidery needles. They are wider in this uh, place, so it may be harder to go through those uh, wraps that we will make. For boolean stitch, so consider uh, trying millennial needles for this kind of stitch. So I'm gonna thread six strands of floss together because I have a big leaf like this. If you have a smaller leaf, so you may want to use maybe three strands of floss. Uh, let me know guys um, if you already tried this kind of uh, stitch and if you already used it for the leaves. It's interesting to know because it's a um, kind of specific stitch. Okay, let's start. Truth be told, before this uh, live stream I was watching my own video tutorial <laughs> about bullion stitch to remind myself what is this uh, stitch about and how to do it because i already forget uh, i did it for the first uh, time a few months ago and that's it so um you need to come up uh, here um where you want to start your first uh, stitch and you put your needle down in this uh, place And you keep your loop using your non-working hand like that and then you need to come up in the same place where you started. I have a knot on the back side so just be careful and uh, don't uh, put your needle through the knot because it's gonna be hard to go through it. And I don't uh, pull my needle up through the fabric yet. I just leave it like I did and I'm um, wrapping my thread around my needle several times. I don't know how many times I did it already, but I to see if it's enough or not, I just lay down my needle like this and I see uh, if it's enough wraps uh, for this uh, stitch. So I think it's enough and now I'm pulling my needle through completely and I keep all those wraps using my left hand. If you are left-handed you might want to use right hand so it's not gonna be unwind and you lay it down, you tighten your thread and you put your needle down into this place to finish the stitch. So this is how it looks. It may be a little bit wonky for the first time, it's okay, you just uh, cut it out and try one more time. 
So you come up in the center, remember? Then you go in here and now you come up from here and we start wrapping. And maybe one more time. Okay. I have a knot on the back again. See, it, it's not always come up really beautiful. You just need some practice. Probably I don't have some practice. Let's try one more time. See, I'm also learning with you. Yeah, that things it happens to me. <laughs> Knots on the back side for some reason. I don't know. Maybe I used too long strand of floss. Maybe because I wanted that I have enough embroidery threads for entire leaf. So I tried to use with a long strand of floss. Maybe that's the reason why I have knots on the back side. And six strands of floss, they usually twisted. And maybe because they are twisted, I'm having knots. But I feel like each next time that I do this kind of uh, stitch, um, it becomes easier and easier for me. So practice and practice and practice. This is everything that you need to learn it. So as I said, if you don't like the result, you just cut it out and start again. And you also need to remember that you need to, you want to lay down your stitches in the right direction. I make one stitch on the left side and one stitch on the right side. You can even park your needle like I just did to have your both hands free and uh, help yourself to make this uh, stitch properly. make the same stitch on the left side and the, each next stitch that I do to be told I start to enjoy it <laughs> because first few stitches they didn't go well but um, all the next stitches they are like yeah I can I can continue doing that like that so I, I enjoy it I like it so don't be afraid to try something new I also try something new with you guys and I like that uh, we are challenging yourself and we are trying new stitches and how do you like it so far? Uh, this is a fun stitch uh, I cannot say that I will use it for my leaves because I usually stitch uh, some realistic uh, leaves, but it's kind of fun to know how how you can make it and Maybe in future I will want to make some fun interesting textures uh, design and I will use this kind of stitch I did it It's time to brush my thread because it looks a little bit twisted And I like how the colors are changing, it gives me some interesting leaf. I notice that each time I make this stitch, uh, I can make it much quicker and easier. I think it's okay if I will have not enough threads for entire leaf. I will just start a new thread if I need it. Three, one, two, three. Okay, let's start over. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, probably six. Yeah, seven. 
Let's go with seven wraps. And if it's hard to go through those wraps, make them a little bit looser, like so you can go through it. It's fine, you can use your needle to fix it a little bit to spread all the wraps um, all the way through your stitch so it looks consistent. So how do you feel? Uh, do you feel ready for this kind of stitch? <laughs> Yeah, I think it's it worth to make it just for fun, just to learn something new. And I find it comfortable to tighten it up when you tighten it in this direction, the same direction when you make your stitch, so the threads, they lay down properly this way, if you tighten it in this direction. But also you shouldn't have a too short thread. Remember that you will need to make a loop this way and you will need enough threads to wrap it, to have some space for it. Yeah, I really feel that each time I make this stitch it becomes, it turned out nicer and nicer. So I think you will need to repeat this stitch uh, probably, I know, 20 times <laughs> at least to, to learn it and when you next time you will need to make it, you will, your hands will remember what to do. Or if you forgot, you can always watch my video tutorial. Can you show the outline stitch too? I was showing this last time in my, in my previous video tutorial. You can find this tutorial on my YouTube channel. It's already there. Okay, now I feel that this is too short thread and uh, I will start a new one and I will continue making this leaf. But you know what? I really like the texture that it gives. It is so pleasant to touch. Also, millennial needle is good because it's a long needle and you have enough space to do this kind of wrapping your threads so as your stitches need to become smaller you make a smaller amount of loops so this last stitch i did i wrapped only five times and I guess one more stitch on the right side and I will finish this leaf. So this is how this kind of stitch looks like when you try to make a leaf with this. And um, personally, I had a lot of fun right now. <laughs> I don't know about you. Mm, you were just watching, but maybe when you will try, you will definitely have a lot of fun with this kind of stitch. And I highly recommend you to try this stitch for your leaves. So this is how my sampler page looks like. You can get it on my Patreon or you can uh, get it later on my Etsy shop if you want to buy it separately as a separate PDF pattern. Uh, but I have a lot of uh, sampler pages like this. Uh, this one is dedicated for leaves. Another one is dedicated for outline stitches, uh, chain stitches and the French knots. And uh, you can find many other sampler pages like this. 
uh, they are designed by me especially for beginners so they can practice those teachers and master those teachers so they can learn more and uh, they can start from simple teachers and move to the more complicated teachers like this thank you so much for watching subscribe to my youtube channel like this video leave your comment uh, what was your experience with Boolean Stitch? I'm really interested to, to know. And uh, watch some more of my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys! Thank you!